Hey Fox, this is the last episode of series about Russian entertainment in 90s. Finding old wheel from a bike, we unscrewed and took out one spoke. Then removed threaded end and tightened the other side, so to end up with this. Then a small nail and piece of thread get in, which we tied up to a nail's head. The other end was secured on the end of a spoke and banded like arc. Insert a nail into a threaded hole to get something like a bow. We scraped off two match heads, stuffed it in a hole and covered with a nail. We all had to hit spoke on a hard surface and it produced a shot, which we used to frighten our friends. When there was only one match in the box, we carefully teased and opened off that part where you light matches, put it on the metal surface and ignited it. After complete burning, you need to remove sawdust and transform formed plug to the fingers. When you touch your fingers, somehow it started to emit white smoke. For us, it was real magic. If we were able to get a bottle from Siphon, which used to make a soda, we can get a mega boom. Unfortunately, I can't show you how to make it, because it's really dangerous for you. But we were born with a titanium spoon in our mouth. But anyway, you can see the result. This brick left no trace, and the paving stone broke into pieces. When the lighter was out of gas, we removed the cap, spark wheel and flint with a spring. Stretching it a little, we secured fling in a spring and heat it with flame. After a second, it started to heat and we threw it on the wall, watching how huge flesh was. Now we need a bottle cap, thread and a button. Put button to a cap, then do marking and hitting a small nail, bore two holes. Now cut a piece of thread with a length of about half a meter and put the end in a lid and then in a button. Then take a piece of modeling clay, place it in the lid and press with a button. Tying the end, spinning cap and stretching thread in the hand, cap began to rotate very fast, making a specific sound. Sometimes we remove the ring from the bottle and turn it to put it on the cup. We got an aggressive buzzer, which could scare friends or cut leaves. Having two large rulers and duct tape, we used to make a very cool thing. At the beginning, you should mark it in the middle of line area, wing with the same ruler. Similarly, on the second one, using a file, you need to deepen it into this area until the middle of thickness of a wood. So when you fold it, it will be part of each other. Apply some glue to these places and squeeze it for a while. After glue will dry, you got to fix it again with a duct tape to get something like this. After it sharp on one side of each wing at a sharp angle, smooth corners and edges to form over airplane wing and get a real working boomerang. Two really cheap rulers, little bit of work and a tons of fun. If you enjoyed, you can watch previous videos from this series, there are no less interesting.